So she, how she helps people in healing? Why is it echoing? Hello. Why is it echoing, Kapil? So now our audience has come to a single. Uh, there are two things I just want to update. Uh, the recording is not happening because the cloud storage of Zoom handle of Parmaga Monas is full. So we are doing YouTube live session. So anyways, the recording will be available in the form of video, not in the form of audio for today's lecture. Uh -huh, that's so, okay now. Every next time day, onward, no we'll... need to do Zoom. No, no need to do Zoom recording at all. No, no. Still, we are doing it because uh, it may so happen in future that we are not able to access YouTube platform for certain reason. We'll be having the audio recordings as well. So we are keeping audio recordings as well for a safer purpose. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you. Sorry to disturb. Okay. Yes, all of you ready for the semester? Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. For two years. I Thank hope you all have done your exams well. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma that was the experience of writing the exam. Yes, Come. Come. Jai Jinendra Bolo either. Either Sabko Jai Jinendra Bolo. Ow. Sabko Jai Jinendra Bolo. Aja. All her parents have gone out of station, mother. So she has come down to stay for a week. Jai Jinendra Bolo Sapko, hi Bolo, hi. Bye Bolo, bye Bolo, bye Bolo. Bolo, bye Bolo. Bolo, bye, bolo. Bye, bolo. Bolo, bye, bolo. Acha, ut, bolo. Sabko, ut. Utho. Utho, bolo. Ut. Ut. chahiye, bolo. Ut chahiye. Sammek darshan chahiye. Bol. Ut chahiye. Acha, bye, bolo. Bye. 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 Go. Go, go, go. <laughs> yes, uh, so how was the experience of writing the exam? How were the papers and all? And I found the third one was the easiest of the lot. Achha, achha. But I think it was tricky. They were all tricky. But the third one was a okay. little bit less tricky. Achha, achha. Um, but I feel when you write the exam, we learn more actually. Exactly. That is the whole purpose of Swami Bhuti Didi to make you write the exam. Yes. And uh, she's got the recognition for the program. So big uh, congrats to our team leader, Swami Bhuti Ji. Yes. Uh, shall we start the class? Yes. Okay. So what is the portions for this semester or rather for this year? Who will tell? Who has the syllabus before them? New year, new syllabus. It's like coming to a new classroom. We are all promoted from the second standard to the third standard, third grade. So all new clothes, new water bottle, new tiffin box. You know, new friends, new benches, everything new feeling now. So, yes, who has the syllabus? Who has the syllabus? So, I've got Mokshmak, Prakashak, uh, 6, 10, 8, Adhikar. All of you note uh, down. All of you note down, as he says. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, cool. Then we have Tattvartha Sutra, Adhikar 1 and 5. They've given the sutra numbers as well. And hmm. the reference book is Tatwartha Mani Pradeep. Uh, then we also have Ashtapahud Gatha Summary, where they've given the number of gathas or page numbers that we are going to be referen referencing. Uh, the book we are using is uh, Acharya Kundakunda or Unke Tikakar, Ek Sam, Sam Alochan, Sam Alochanatmak Adhyay. Adhyay. 
Uh, and then we have Summit Seeker as our self study. Uh, that is for semester five. And then semester six, we are having Tatvartha Sutra Adhikar 9th and 10th. Uh, Samadhi Maran is a self study. Naya yeah, Chakra Guide. Sorry, am I going fast? No, no, no. Uh, Pancha Kalyanak is also a self study. Uh, Gunasthan Praveshika, also a self study. Uh, uh, what would Pichika mean? Yeah, you Naya Chakra Guide. The guidebook as yeah. paper one, then you have Tatvar Sutra as paper two, and then you have the, what is paper three? So paper three is, um, there are two self-studies. Leave the self-study uh, part for a minute. Yeah, so there's only only two, uh, two some uh, Tatvartha Sutra Adhikar and uh, Naya Chakra Guide. There are only no, two of them. More. There's one more. In okay, unless this is an old syllabus, oh. because that's what is coming on the DP. No, there should be one more. Let me see and tell you. I'll tell you. Wait, okay. sure, sure. Uh, you can fix it right now. You have uh, Mokshmar Prakashak. No, no, you have Tatvart Sutra, Nay yes. Chakra, and Gunasthan. What is this? Gunasthan Praveshika and Panchakalyan self study, ma'am. No, no, self study books cannot be your uh, this thing. Three self study books they have given you. Four yeah, actually. Yeah, ma'am. Samit uh, Sigar, Samadhi Maran, Panchakalyan, ma'am. Yeah. So let, let me fix it up and get back to you then, in that case. Sure. Sure. Hmm. Okay, uh, now, is Naya, sorry, ma'am. Is Naya Chakra the same as what we were doing last semester? There is one very thin guidebook. Okay. Yellow cover page. Okay. Yellow cover page, th very thin guidebook. Okay. Uh, it is based on the Naya Chakra book. Okay. Uh, written by okay. Swanabhuti ji's mother, Shuddhatma Prabhaji. It's a very, right, very right. thin book, and we are going to study it. And uh, okay. Ram sir, you know, you have studied that book at the MA level. You must have forgotten. I'm very sure about it. <laughs> so advantage, Priya ma'am. Chalo. So uh, now this semester, we have to concentrate on three things. One is uh, Mokshmar Prakasha, chapter six and eight. We have finished one, two in one semester, three, four in another semester. We are not going to do chapter 5, but I'm going to tell you the essence of it. Okay. 6 and 8 we'll do here. 7 we are going to do another year. And then we'll do 8 and uh, 9 later on. Okay. 7, 8, 9 and all will follow. Okay. In the upcoming... 8 we are doing this semester, ma'am. Uh, yes. 8 we are doing now. 7 and 9 we'll do next year. 7 and 9 we'll do next year. Okay. Chal. And Tatvar Sutra, we have only four chapters in our portions. But if you people want, I can do all the 10 chapters. If you have studied and we not do it. If you want it, if you request, we'll do the whole of Tatvar Sutra. Yes, please, ma'am. I think it would be good, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Yeah. And uh, I have got 40 video recordings of Tatvar Sutra in English. Uh, so that also I can share with you. So let us now first start with paper one. And Ashtapahud also, we have to do only from the Tika book. But if you people want, I can do the whole of the text of Ashtapahud. Yes, ma'am. Okay. We so will let, do us, that, yeah. let yes. us see what we can do. Depends on your demand. Now, this text of Mokshmar Prakasha is actually Mokshmarg Prakashak. It throws light on Moksha Marga. Prakashak means illuminator, highlighter, enlightening one. So that which enlightens us about Moksha Marga is the text of Moksha Marga Prakashak written by Pandit Todarmanji, in which he is throwing light on Moksha Marga from a psychological perspective, a logical perspective, not the traditional perspective. The traditional perspective is Samyak Darshan Gyan Charitra Moksha Marga. Mithya Darshan Gyan Charitra is Sansa. That's all. Over. That is what the tradition tells us. 
but what is the logic behind it what is the philosophy behind it what is the psychology behind it from those point of views he is analyzing mithyatva greed desire bondage suffering etc etc so in chap- uh, chapter 1 was uh, about uh, eology of uh, the pancha parameshti uh, qualities of a good listener qualities of a good orator and then uh, how this book is based on authentic sources all that was told in chapter 1 then in chapter 2 he told us about the uh, he told us about suffering what is suffering he gave us an analysis of suffering from karma point of view from gati point of view and all that he told us about suffering then in third chapter uh, he told us about the cause of suffering second chapter he told us about the disease of suffering in the third chapter why you we have got this disease what is suffering why we have got this disease there he analyzed uh, what to say uh, uh, suffering from uh, what uh, yeah here only he analyzed uh, from karma angle from uh, pariyay angle and nature of suffering in a general way okay then in the third cha- uh, fourth chapter he discussed about the cause of suffering in a little extensive way that it is mithya darshan gyan charitra what is mithya darshan what is mithya gyan what is mithya charitra he analyzed in chapter 4 uh and in here he gave us the uh, the flaws in seven tatvas then uh, in mithya gyan you have sanshay viparyay anadhyavasai doubt opposite knowledge not clear knowledge and in mithya charitra he spoke about asayam not having self restraint and all that now in chapter 5 which is not there in your portions i'll tell you what is there if you open the index page of your textbook hindi or english you can see over there in the uh, this chapter 5 runs to almost 80 pages there he is discussing about the different philosophies the different ideologies about reality different views what they are telling about reality so they don't have the correct view of reality or even if they have they are not able to express it and people get caught in the uh, what to say a uh, maze of rituals and surrendering to god seeking his grace and all that so here in the first very first opening uh, pages of the fifth chapter he analyzes the very popular vedic advaita philosophy brahman is real everything else is illusion maya according to this philosophy hai na uh, brahma satyam jagat mithya jeevo brahmaiva na aparah it's a very popular phrase from the vedas from the upanishads which says brahma satyam brahman alone is real jagat is mithya जीव इज ब्रह्म ब्रह्म एव ब्रह्म ही है ये जीव न अपर इट इज नॉट एनीथिंग एल्स ओके वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड Uh, am i audible yes ma'am yes yes ma'am, yes, ma'am. hmm ha huh. so there he is going to analyze about uh, what are the views of this vedanta philosophy and in vedanta itself you have so many schools advaita shuddha advaita advaita dvaita advaita vishishta advaita so all these uh, shankaracharya ramanujacharya madhvacharya vallabha nimbarka all these acharyas have interpreted the bhash uh, kya bole 
the Bhashya written by Veda Vyas in different perspectives. So you have different schools of uh, Vedanta. What is the meaning of the word Vedanta? Vedon ke antame. Initially, you had the four Vedas. So, what is the philosophy of the Vedas is discussed in Purva Mimamsa. Then comes the Uttara Mimamsa, which is the tail end of Veda. Veda. So, it is called as Vedanta. So, in Uttara Mimamsa, you have the texts of Ramayan, Mahabharat, Upanishads and the Bhagavad Gita. And uh, the comment, different commentaries on this Mahabhashya. Clear? So that is how you have the Vedic school, which we broadly understand as Hinduism. But Hinduism includes uh, other philosophies like Sankhya, Nyaya, Vaisheshika, Yoga, and all other things. Okay. So next he is going to analyze about the Sankhya philosophy, which is a philosophy of Bhagavad Gita. You have the Prakriti, Purush. And so I will request all of you read this book by Datta and Chatterjee, Outlines of Indian Philosophy by Datta and Chatterjee, The Six Schools of Indian Philosophy, Shad Darshan, and uh, by Haribhadra Suri, Shad Darshan Samuche. And see the treatment given in these two places. So he's going to analyze Sankhya philosophy and Shaivism. You know, Shaivism has very popular three concepts. If you want, you can write down. Pashu, Pati and Pasam. Pashu is Atma. Pati is Paramatma. And Pasam is the knot of bondage. Pash, Pashane, that which ties the Pashu. So Pashu means uh, you should not take animal. You should take the animal instincts in us. You should take the animal instincts in us of craving, of temptations, of attachment, of fear and all those things. And Pati refers to Shiva or Paramatma. So how the Pashu will meet uh, the Paramatma? That is of uh, the Shaiva philosophy. Okay. Then you have the Nyaya philosophy which is the philosophy of 16 reals and it talks about the 16 ways of doing logic. It's a very beautiful philosophy. All these philosophies are beautiful, you know. You should read them, understand them and then later on, what to say? Reject them if somewhere these philosophies are there in our lower subconscious, uh, this thing. Or take the best out of it See, Jainism has no problem with any of these philosophies. They are giving different views of reality. But they say that our view is the ultimate view. It is again like the six blind men. Each one is saying that we are real, the others are all false. So there it is a problem. That's all. Then comes Vaisheshik philosophy, which talks about seven reals. Then you have Mimamsak, Jaimaniya, Buddhism, Charvak. This Charvak is the most popular philosophy. Even among the Jains. Even in us, in our day-to-day -day life, it is a Charvak philosophy that rules. So what is this philosophy? It says, Runam Kritva Gritam Pibet, Yavat Jeevet Sukham Jeevet, Bhasmi Bhutasya Dehasya Punaragamanam Kutaha. That means, even if you have to borrow some wealth, some money, some ghee, borrow it and drink. Or in today's language, I'll say, even if you have to borrow money and go for globe trotting, go. Go to Italy, go to Vatican, go and see the museums. Okay. If you have to eat Cadbury's chocolates and uh, rasgullas, eat them. Why? He says once the body is reduced to ashes, who has seen rebirth? Who is going to come and re? Who is going to come and ask you for the money back? No, don't worry. So all this uh, talk about soul karma, rebirth, God. All this is all, uh, what to say, not real. It's all imaginary things written by people who are idle and uh, having are jobless. So don't worry. You have the four senses. What is before you, enjoy. Why are you seeking the uh, happiness that you have not seen in moksha? So eat, drink, enjoy, make merry. This is what our children and our people follow, na? 
वी ऑल हैव गॉट वन लाइफ एंड दे से परोसी हुई थाली मनुष्य जन्म में ही मिलती है इन नरक दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू गिव यू अ प्लेट सर्व एवरीथिंग इन तिरियंज गति दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू गिव यू हियर ओनली यू गेट नो सो ईट ड्रिंक एंजॉय मेक मेरी ओके सो इफ यू टेल योर चिल्ड्रेन और अवर चिल्ड्रेन अबाउट आत्मा सामायिक प्रतिक्रमण दे आर नॉट इंटरेस्ट दे आर इंटरेस्टेड इन क्लबिंग पार्टिंग मोबाइल मूवीज गेम्स फ्रेंड्स प्लेशर ऑल दीज थिंग सो चार वक फिलोसफी रूल्स द वर्ल्ड and all the philosophies have analyzed charvak philosophy and put it down each philosophy has analyzed another philosophy and put them down that is how how you have huge stock of literature in sanskrit in uh, uh, what to say in different languages so indian philosophy is way 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 ahead of the world philosophy all these greek philosophy american and all these western philosophy they are in their infancy and here all these philosophies developed simultaneously whereas in the western world after uh, socrates came plato and after them came other philosophies i don't want to go into descartes hegel and kant and all these things so that's how you have different uh, schools of western philosophy you know you have uh, empiricism and uh, so so many isms in western philosophy you can read that so the origin of western philosophy is the greek philosophy and the origin of uh, modern psychology everything is the indian philosophy so bharat ke kan kan mein darshan hai but because of the advent of the Isla, uh, the islamic culture and the christian culture our people have forgotten this philosophy of soul karma and rebirth they may not understand the concept of soul and karma the way it was told but they would refer to it 50 years back you you ask any rickshaw puller on the road also he'll talk about soul karma rebirth i have i have experienced that but now everybody seems to be converting to other faiths and they are losing track of this philosophy which our prime minister wants to restore you understand dear friends okay yeah then you have the great uh, yoga philosophy you know the yoga philosophy no of patanjali ashtanga yoga disciplining for samadhi all that after analyzing all this he is going to uh, discuss about the different texts which give reference of jainism how jainism is so old and popular uh, not popular how old it is the references of jainism in puranas all that he is analyzed next he comes to analyzing the shvetambar tradition how you have the uh, tradition of tying the cloth then the uh, murti puja uh, shvetambar tradition what are the flaws in the shvetambar tradition all that he is analyzed over here then the shvetambars believe that women can be liberated in a women form hum uh, grahas householders can be liberated kevli bhagwan is doing ahar shudra mukti then all these kind of uh, ascharya the uh, 10 kinds of ascharya with the shvetambar tradition talks about all that he is analyze how they are flawed he is explaining it over here then he talks about in the shvetambar tradition how wrongly they are worshiping the deva guru and dharma how wrongly they are interpreting deva guru dharma ka anyatha swarup they are explaining then he is talking about the sthanakvasi tradition the mopatti the murti puja uh, how they are not taking to murti puja that he is analyzed and with that the fifth chapter ends okay dear friends so it's up to you to read that chapter you read you have any doubts you can ask me we can discuss now i'm going to start the portions of this semester chapter 6 am i with all of you yes yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma yes so now the sixth chapter is again very extensively going to talk about ku dev ku guru ku dharm in what context in the context of mithya darshan 
when you don't have the right perception of god guru and dharma your mithyatva will not go if your mithyatva does not go you are not eligible for samyaktva so the seventh chapter which is not there in your portions this semester will talk about jain mithya drishtis how even though we are following jainism we believe in dev guru how much of mithyatva we are doing that will come in seventh chapter and in the eighth chapter he is going to talk about the methodology of reading the scripture that is the four anuyog and then he is going to tell us apply this four anuyog and read the moksha marga swarupa the ninth chapter and as pandit ji was writing the ninth chapter he was taken away and killed by the so from here only the ratnatraya swarup starts samyak darshan gyan charitra the details of which we have in many other books but how, had he analyzed these three in a psychological way this book would have been the most important even though it is now but uh, it is not a big loss because all these things we can read from other places also but in his way had he given it us it would have been very good but it is our bad fortune that we don't have it but whatever we have it is the best the greatest is it clear i have given you a nutshell of all the nine chapters yes. of prakash now the sixth chapter uh, it will talk about kudev first one it will talk about kudev who are kudev then he is going to talk about ku guru and then he is going to talk about ku dharma so in three classes i'll finish this chapter then eighth chapter we will do it in a little more uh, detail way the four anu yogas and all those things clear friends so in six classes i'll try to finish mokshmar prakashak and then uh, we'll try to do the tatvartha sutra in great detail and then we'll do the ashtapahod if you people want or i'll just concentrate on the syllabus given chalo all of you take 168 of hindi page uh, hindi book or english you have to tell me the page number i don't have i read from the hindi and explain in english 237 ma'am ha uh, all of you take now who is dev who will tell me who is dev kon bolega jaldi 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 जल्दी कु देव कौन है देव कौन है सु देव कौन है जल्दी वॉट यू मीन बाई देव देव कौन होते हैं वाई इज द क्लास साइलेंट i would say dev are those who possess um a broad uh, range of qualities saurabh sir tell me one dravya which does not possess many qualities your definition is applicable Perse- Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. चलो आप लोग बोलो फिर देव कौन है कु देव कौन है सु देव कौन है देव इज समन हुईडेंटिफाइड दूल एंड इज ऑन द राइट ट्रैक ऑल रवियर्स हैव द गुनास बट यू नॉट बीन एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm mistaken. Is it connected with the quantity of karmas? Hmm. Bolo, 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 bolo. I'm listening. Bolo. You know, मतलब जिन्होंने ज़्यादा कर्म किए हैं, वो कुदे होंगे और जिन्होंने कुछ भी कर्म नहीं किए होंगे, कुदे होंगे, नहीं? अच्छा. I can't take this definition. हा यू आर राइट इन अ वे 
कर्म के एंगल से देखो तो ठीक है बाकी और बातें जल्दी 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 नो टाइम विद अस मैम जो सम्यक दर्शन के मार्ग के ऊपर राह दिखा है वो सुदेव और जो मिथ्यात्व की राह दिखा है वो कुदेव इज इट ओके आई विल टेक दिस नेक्स्ट एनीबडी एल्स मे बी वो इज नॉट सर्वज्ञ Hmm. And always uh, not a bit rocky. Yeah, and uh, so. Okay. 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 dev generally refers to Sir. human beings or celestial gods celestial god so you have to write down there are two types of dev write down there are two types of dev perfected human beings called arihanta are the vitaragi dev perfected human beings human beings who have evolved to the highest level of omniscience blemishlessness vitrag vitragta is blemishlessness sarvagya is omniscience they are the human beings perfected human beings they are the gods they are the dev they are the vitragi dev they are beyond birth and death beyond karma beyond ignorance beyond anything beyond time and space they have taken their soul beyond time and space and to that eternal reality so they are the human beings who are perfected divine they have reached the level of epitome of divinity through spirituality so perfected human beings are sudev perfected human beings called tirthankar arihanta jinas are the sudev now then you know the swastik the four gati there you have the devlok ke jeev devlok mein those who reside four kinds of devlok bhavanpati vyantar jyotish vaimanik all are referred to as dev you should not call them sudev you should not call them kudev they are not sudev they are not tirthankar they are not aryant they cannot be sudev but who are we to call them as kudev okay now who are this kudev now the question is who is kudev you got the analysis sudev nahi hai dev hai who are the kudev what is this kudev prapanch uh, lakshmi ye le lo ek minute just give me a minute i'll be back ये लो ऑन कर दो ha huh. anybody got an answer who are ku dev ku dev ka english you all write down set who are yeah is that who are teaching the concept to what is taught by the, the sutevas 
Uh, is it uh, who is poor? Okay, okay, ma'am. Uh, uh, my my maybe connection issues. Ah, uh, your connection is weak, uh, Mahindran sir. Today, who are Kudev? See, if you are sick and you need to go to a doctor, you go, but don't relate it with Samyakta and Mithyakta. Right? Now. Now let us see the Mangala Charan. Have we done the Mangala Charan today? We have not done the Mangala Charan. We did the prayer. But... You did the prayer? Okay, fine. Then yes. it's okay. So now the Mangala Charan of the sixth chapter, let us try to analyze. Mithya Deva Dik Bhaje Ho Hai Mithya Bhav Tajatin Ko Saanche Bhajo that means you are worshipping the false or the pseudo gods. Ku Dev ka meaning is pseudo. Write down this word. P-S-E-U-D-O. Pseudo gods. This is Mithya Bha. Devadik. In Devadik, you have to take Dev Guru Dharma. So you don't understand the real nature or the right nature of Dev, Guru and Dharma and you are worshipping them falsely that is Mithya Bha so know them and leave them then only your path of welfare begins for that I am giving you this chapter this is what Panditji says now you all know there are two types of Mithyatva, Grahit and Agrahit so we are born with Agrahit Mithyatva but in this human life, we take to Grahit Mithyatva and strengthen that Agrahit Mithyatva and go back to Nigo. Okay. So here he says that Anadi say, since time immemorial, since beginningless time, the Jeev is found with Mithya Darshan Adi Bhav and he, he nurtures that Mithya Bhav with faith in ku dev ku guru ku dharma and only when you give up both the agrahit mithyatva and this ku dev ku guru ku dharma then only you will come on the path of moksha without coming on the path of moksha nobody can go to moksha nobody can realize moksha which is within so if you want to realize moksha within you have to give up the Faith you have in Kudev, Kuguru, Kudha. See, uh, you talk about soul to people, no? There are not much takers. Because they are scared that they have to give up the faith in Kudev, Kuguru, Kudha. It is like going to a beggar and telling him, hey, you give me your rotten bag, your torn bag, I'll give you a new one. But he is not able to see the new bag. So he will not give you the old bag. You tell him, you give up this jhompri, I'll give you a palatial house. He won't come to you. He'll hold on to his bag. He'll hold on to his things more in a more intense way than before. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Like that Paramatma is telling us, you give up attachment for your body, for your family, for your wealth. I'll give you the palace of moksha. We are not ready to. We hold on to our things more dearly. Clear? You understand? So that is the knot of bondage so strong in all of us. Now, he begins the talk with Kudev. So what he says is that in the first place, that uh, in, in worshipping the Kudev, Kuguru, Dharma, the soul is not able to work out its own welfare. And it, it is under a terrible illusion. That these three people, people matlab, these three, Dev, Ku, Dev, Ku, Guru, Ku, Dharma, can relieve me of my suffering. Okay? The soul is in a deluded state. It is in an illusion state, thinking that these three will liberate me. But no such thing happens. Then he says that we take to them on three pretexts. On three counts, we take to Kudev, Kuguru, Kudev. Write down if you want. It is given. 
first one is for liberation second one is for our next life and for this life for next life and for this life you understand people worship whether it is see that time christ and mohammed were not there but now they are becoming so popular ki wo naam aa hi jata but christianity and islam don't come under philosophy they come under world religions okay they don't have a very sound philosophy the way these six system schools have okay so he says that uh, many people first he is going to take the first one many people believe shu 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 kya chahiye wo <laughs> sorry 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 speed around so many people say that um um uh, ki uh when you worship god when you surrender to the grace of god when you surrender to god you get his grace then he will take you to the kingdom of god aapko vaikunth de denge moksha de denge bhagwan has to give you bhagwan has to give you some uh, what to say sat buddhi hai na bolte hai na ishwar allah tero naam sabko sanmati de bhagwan sanmati matlab sat buddhi so bhagwan only has to give you the sat buddhi okay so um, in parlok you will get sukh in parlok you parlok means the next life you will get sukh otherwise you will get suffering so what pandit ji is telling you see pandit ji himself is raising the questions and giving answers that is the style in which mokshmar prakashak is written he says that you get suffering because of the uday of pap and you get sukh that is indriya sukh because of the uday of punya what is the role of any third person giving you sukh and dukh if you eat chilies to aapka muh jalega what is the role of god coming and making your tongue burn if you stand in the hot sun you are you are going to face the sun burn why you need some third agent to make you have the sun burn there no need it's a natural phenomenon it's a natural process ओके सो ही सेज ईश्वर विल डू एवरीथिंग भला करे ईश्वर बुरा करेंगे सो देन ही सेज एट द वेरी ओपनिंग लाइन्स दैट देर इज नो ईश्वर सिटिंग अप मैन्युपुलेटिंग योर कर्मस मैन्युपुलेटिंग योर सुख दुख यू आर योर ओन क्रिएटर सो यू हैविंग सच बिलीव इज कूदेव you having such beliefs false ideologies about god is termed as kudev then no um, they give the names of these gods and then you then then they say that we have to do sacrifice for them bali chadana bhagwan ko bali chahiye bhagwan needs your sacrifice whether it is pashu bali or nar bali and then what they do wo jo whatever they have sacrifice bali they eat that whether it is a murga or a murgi or a bakri or a animal or a bird they sacrifice at the altar of god god means whom they have assumed that that god wants the sacrifices to please that god they do all this and uh, they take to violence and they take to feasting and they take to pleasures clapping dancing and rejoicing in the name of god and all these things they do and then they are binding the karmas they are binding the pap and then they are suffering because of that so he is telling that in the name of god you are only nurturing vishe and kashay and that is pap and that pap ka phal is going to be dukh okay so you are taking to ku dev sevan ku dev sevan means you are taking to the worship of ku dev and you are nurturing vishay and kashay vishay means five sense pleasures 
kashai means uh, the five fold uh, four fold passions and hinsa are the panch pap clear yahan tak clear uh, just give me a minute i'll, I'll just is it clear so when you take to this ko dev in this world you are nurturing all pap and how you will get pleasure or not pleasure you will get happiness in the next birth they will liberate you they cannot they will give you goodness and welfare they cannot because you are nurturing pap in their name okay now third he says uh, the nature of vyantar you know vyantar Uh, write down four kinds of dev i told you bhavanpati vanavyantar or vyantar jyotish and vemanik yes saurab sir you have a question sorry to disturb you ma'am uh, mm -hmm. just on that uh, previous subject of uh, kudev uh, my mm -hmm. question was um, with the given recent experience that you have had in vatican uh, mm -hmm. would you say that as a person grows uh, uh, in a um, scholarly understanding of faith would they still be involved in uh, uh, having faith in kudev or it does diminish uh, uh, gradually that's why i told you in the very opening lines there are no takers for atma talk okay. they are all interested in paramatma paramatma means right. not parama atma their right. understanding of god they feel is the highest and the best one thing second right. thing is they for them religion interfaith dialogue religion means uh, nurturing values like forgiveness forgiveness means not that kshama dharm of jainism upar upar se forgive let go caring sharing building communities where there are war torn uh, uh, conflicts how you help people to come together and work as one humanity right for that is the understanding of religion and application of religion in that world that's what i understood from these faiths right. of course they talk of smiling forgiveness being positive getting connected to god but how many people talk about connecting to the god within that's a big question mark right and so right. and the more you very genuinely if you do interfaith dialogue it will help you understand the beauty of your own faith very deeply then you get connected right. to the right things then you get connected right. to the right things until then you want okay but i'll tell you my experience of interfaith dialogue see even in uh, at the university level we have the three six schools of uh, shaivism vaishnavism islamic studies christianity and all that everybody is very adamant about their faith everybody is very adamant about their they are not ready to give up their views or ideas about things that deep rooted grahit mithyatva is so i'll tell you my experience uh, my husband's niece brother's daughter when she studied this book mokshmark prakashan and she read this fifth chapter which is criticizing the shvetamba tradition the stanakvasi tradition she closed the book and she kept it hmm. she said i will i will not remain a shvetambar if i read this book she gave it up she gave up this uh, parmagam studies kind of things then what happened is not parmagam kind of studies that time she was not into parmagam she was she got exposed to some lectures and she started following them and uh, she started uh, understanding them but somewhere she read this book and she said no 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 i will not remain a shvetambar and all that and her mother was telling her that no 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 you are not going you are not doing your samayik you are not doing things 
the way ashwetambar should do so you you are not on the right track so she got scared and she closed all these books and she dumped them and she went her way and there she was memorizing the shwekalik sutra utradhyan sutra and all those kind of things but she was not finding insights she was not finding breakthroughs in uh, the reality that she was seeking so somewhere she felt that something is incomplete then again she came to me she had a discussion then i told her look if these things are really bothering you know you revisit this tradition again you revisit mokshmar prakash you revisit all these things from the basic and come to parmagam that is when she joined parmagam okay and as in now she is growing now she is in the fourth year uh, or maybe now she is in the fifth year of parmagam you understand yeah, it happened with me with me as well when i was just reading the chapter 5 uh, before we started the classes uh, mm. it was a shock to me as well the i found the language very strong to um understand and interpret and i was talking to a very good friend of mine and i said i i really don't know what to make out of this so it's another topic and another day for discussion but uh, just that you brought up the subject so i felt the same way Hmm. Yes, very strong words. Hmm. Mama, uh, uh, I'll tell you one thing. After reading all this, my many myths, I have given up. Hmm. Uh, even though very staunchly, I have not taken to the Digamba tradition. Hmm. Like going to the temple and doing the puja, uh, I have not learnt all that. So hmm. that I may not be the ritual part. I may not be able to follow very rigorously. but at mm. the faith level at the belief level at the philosophical level i am very much grounded in what uh, pandit ji says right right maybe the charnanu yog i am not so chust in the digambar way that is my shwetambar mm. way of doing mm. nokarsi of upvas and samayik and all those things okay yeah. the upar ka part but jo mm. andar ka part hai, is all uh, this philosophy right hello thank you ma'am ma'am just just a question here yeah uh, you mentioned that uh, there are several things of digambar uh, that you follow uh, there are few things of shwetambar that you follow yes uh, so i'm a yapanian i'm a yapanian okay <laughs> so, so so in in understanding the true religion uh, do you think uh, it would help to be a little more focused or uh, you pick up the best from various religions and then follow them uh it, it my, the uh, answer is a combination of both jaise na when you when you when you mix milk with water or you when you mix milk and water first there will be more of milk less of water then as you keep adding the you get more of milk and less of water and as you keep adding more of milk the water uh, content is not it does not matter at all so sure. sure. so it will be initially it will be a mixture then you will come to more focused things okay and okay. initially it will be a mixture what we are doing now is intra faith intra faith within the faith there are many faiths and we are trying to have an intra dialogue among the faiths and coming to understand reality sure. okay. okay so you should be open what i am telling is yeah. don't shut down any doors on you until and unless you get the broad vision of reality keep seeking keep seeking keep seeking because this human birth is very precious and we cannot waste it in mithya darshan gyan charitra under any koi bhi bahana lekar atma is neither digambar nor shwetambar atma is what it is so if you have an eye open for that that will take you very far lakshmi elen 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 One minute. Okay, चले चल. So now he says that uh, people worship this. Ah, uh, now I was talking about the four types of gods. If you want to read more about these four types of gods, you should read the Tatvarth Sutra. third chapter third fourth chapter 
talks about the four types and the commentaries, Sarvartha Siddhi and all that. Or uh, read uh, Tilloya Pannati. Or uh, 563 divisions of uh, Jeev in the Jeeva Dhada in Shvetamba tradition. There's one Thokra called Jeeva Dhada, which talks about 563 divisions of Jeev and 560 divisions of a Jeev. So, in detail, you can read it. So what people say is, uh, these Vyantar Dev no. See, I'll tell you one thing. You have your Nabhi. Nabhi is your navel. So that is the place of, uh, in, the, in the universe, the Nabhi is the place of Adhai Dvip. Tirchalok. And above the Nabhi is the celestial world. Celestial world is the uh, Jyotish, Surya, Chandra, Graha, Nakshatra, Tara, all this. Uh, galaxies and uh, the Navagraha and uh, uh, this thing. So there the, the Surya, Sun, Moon, constellations, planets, all these are the uh, Jyotish Dev. Above them are the Vemanik Dev. The, those who live in the uh, aerial chariots, the Viman. Okay. And the Bhavanpati, they are there in all the three. The Bhavanpati are there in all the three. They are in the hellish region. The Bhavanpati Dev, Paramadhami Dev. Then they are uh, below the, kya bole? Earth, earth ke upar bhi rehte hai wo log, in the form of Vyantar Dev and all that. Uh, Bhavan, uh, this Vyan. So Devta are there in all the three worlds. Adholok me in the form of Bhavanpati. Middle world in the form of Vyantar and Jyotish. And above in the form of Vemanik. Okay, so this Vyantar Dev, no, unka punya is little less. So they did not land in Vaimanik Dev. So they are all literally like the Bhatkiyui Atmas. Bhut, Pret, Yaksh, Rakshas, Kinnar, Kimpurush. These are the eight types of Vyantar Dev. Understood? Bhuta, Preta, Yaksha, Rakshasa, Kinnar, Kimpurush, Mahorag, Gandharva. They are all basically bhatki hui atmas who did not get an ideal landing in Vaimanik Dev. So somebody has one unfulfilled desire or wish. Haan, bolo. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, here I have a question that uh, since these are the Vyantar Devs, uh, can they, uh, no, they do good or bad to us, which we normally uh, see uh, people around us telling that whatever is it true can they can they do uh, good or bad to us that's what we are going to analyze in this poll text okay. Okay. So, okay whether they do good or bad see people say no ki, uh, somebody has been possessed by some spirit किसी के अंदर भूत आ गया, प्रेत आ गया, दादाजी आ गए, दादीजी आ गए, okay? So out of hundred cases, ninety nine will be all farce, यानी false. They are all psychological buildups. One percent may be real. Uh, the agam praman is yes, भूत, प्रेत, यक्ष, राक्षस होते हैं. Example Arjun Mali. Arjun Mali was possessed by a yaksh. Harikeshi Muni example. He, he was also possessed by a yaksh. Huh? Sudarshan Seth, Arjun Mali, all that example we get. So, Agam Praman is yes, hote hai. But today, people talking about, I have been possessed, Mirko Dada ji aage, Dadi ji aage, Mata ji aage. All that is all psychological buildups. See, people want attention. That's why they go behind wealth, behind beauty, behind name, fame, behind uh, talent, so that people recognize them. So if you have wealth, you will get recognition. If you have beauty, you will get recognition. If you have talent, you will get recognition. What if you don't have all the three and you have a very strong urge for recognition? Then you have all these kind of build-ups. Oh, the ye agya, wo agya. Then pe attention seekers. Then people will give you a lot of attention. And then you will make people follow what you want to do. So this is there in the psyche 
of humans, which makes them uh, project that they have been possessed by some form. So all these are basically by a weak psyche, projections of a weak psyche. Out of fear, out of desire, they they do all these buildups, mainly out of fear. So you should remember these movies like PK, Oh My God, where this fear factor these gurus will exploit, and they will make money out of you. You understand? So this fear factor people will exploit. So if you really feel that somebody has been possessed by some spirit, you should ask that spirit some philosophical questions. How many tattvas are there? How many anu yoga are there? How many types of mithya are there? No answer. So then you should understand ki ye beta false build up kar raha. If really that spirit is there, then that spirit should be knowing these answers. You understand? This is one way to check. One way to check. Hmm? Okay. So now, why do people go behind this vyantar? Vyantar means all these spirits, wandering spirits, or their ancestors who have become pitra, pitar lok me chale gay. Yes, Padma Priya, you want to say something? Hello, Padma Priya. <coughs> okay, we'll wait for her. So now they worship all kinds of gods and goddesses, and uh, all this karva chot. Sheetla Mata, this chicken pox Mata, all those kind of things. And then uh, they worship stones, they worship trees, they worship the air god, the sun god, the fire god. Basically, this air, sun, fire are all nature. Whom you should conserve. Not abuse them. Patient. Ahimsa ki drishti se, and they end up worshipping them, seeking favors from them. So in the Vedas, you have nature worship in the sense, eology of these forces of nature. But in the Vedas also, they don't tell you to worship them. They talk about nature. In, in the Vedas, it is pure science and pure mathematics. And I tell you, Read this book, Gandharvad. Read this book, Gandharvad, by Bhuvan Bhanu Surishwarji. The Ganadhars had misinterpreted the Vedic statements, Vedic ruchas. And Mahavir helped them to analyze the Vedic ruchas from different perspectives. And then their doubts were cleared and then they all became the followers of Mahabh. This is documented in Gandharva. 11 Gandhar had 11 doubts related to different things based on misinterpretation of the Vedas. So, the, so in this book, you will see it is the Jains who interpreted the Vedas correctly. For this, they had been at the receiving end. They told these Vedic Pandits that Vedas is all pure science and mathematics and nature, but they made a big prophecy out of it and Dukan Chalane Lagay. So they were massacred. Who? The Jains. Many converted, many left their faith, many took to Salekna. So much of Shaivism, Vaishnavism, Jainism uh, interaction happened in Tamil Nadu, in Karnataka and all these places in the time of Bhakti movement. You understand? How more than your possessions, your fixation with your ideologies is greater. Greater means harmful. It's all faith. It's all faith. People are... See, today also... Wars are happening because of conflicts of ideologies, cultures, and faiths. And people want to grab the land 
so that they can grab the people who can live that on that land and they can grab their faiths and the more you convert these faiths you are closer to god that is what they believe but here in jainism we say if you can convert your mithyatva to samyaktva only then you are closer to the god within you understand what i'm trying to say making you see the larger the yes, outside yes. and inside yes okay okay so people worship these uh, ancestors they worship the spirits they worship the sun moon they worship this navagraha shani mangal buddha brahaspati venus mars and all that they worship the peer pegambar you know all these darga darga is nothing but the burial of some pegambar some message, some uh, some ponchi hui mahat sant in the islamic tradition in the sufi tradition so wo wo ek dead body hoti hai uske upar ja ke chadar chadate hain ajmer sharif darga this darga haji ali darga you understand what i'm trying to say so the vatican where i went they we were told that there have been more than 280 popes and at least 70 80 have been buried under the vatican 70 80 popes are lying buried in the uh, kya bole basement of the vatican st peter's basilica the biggest church in the world so that is how they feel connected to the dead you know huh? जैसे अपन भी अपने दादा की अस्थिया वगैरह लेकर के जाते हैं एंड उस दिन अपन भी ब्राह्मण को भोजन खिलाते हैं करते हैं ऑल दोस्त काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स नो सो आई हैव ग्रोन अप सीइंग ऑल दीस थिंग्स टुडे माय दादाजी का दिन सो माय दादी विल पैक वन बेक नाइस लंच के लिए ड्रॉ राइ ड्राई थिंग्स एंड गिव गोर टेल मी गो टू द टेम्पल एंड गिव इट टू द ब्राह्मण सीधा सीधा बोलते हैं उसको सीधा दे दो जाकर so that is how people uh, worship the ancestors and all these kind of things you know so yeah then people uh, worship uh, in the if you come to tamil nadu it ayudh puja all the astra shastra weapons books stationery uh, the mother the cow the bullock hai na jalli kat vagara to usme wo sab karte hain then they worship fire water actually worship means not harming them conserving them not exploiting them but that meaning which was there in the shramanic tradition could not be taken up by the vedic tradition and they professed all these kinds of worships of the uh kya bole all kinds of elements no huh? all that then he says pandit ji says that all these are imaginary things that you are doing who knows that uh, uh, these things are existing or not ko dev adi ka sevan kar rahe ho vyantar they will come and do good for us they will harm us if we don't worship them so all these are your imagination your assumptions ha huh? then people say oh we see that somebody is coming and harming us when we don't do good then pandit ji says that harm is happening because of your pap ka uday that person is only a nimit you go and hit against a stone and you trip and fall down it's your pap ka uday not of that stone why do you have to worship that stone for that okay so then there are people now he, then he says that these vyantar dev no they are very fond of doing kotuhal they are all having this child like buddhi how children like to come and just hit you and then they go and hide they they laugh they smile you understand what i'm trying to say like that these devtas are they come and like to play a prank on you ha uh, they they keep wandering they keep playing this prank and you feel that they are coming and doing good or they are uh, doing some uh, wrong in our life one second दूसरा 
ठीक है so you you are assuming that because i don't worship them they are playing a prank and all these kind of things it is not like that <coughs> now they say that it could be possible uh, that uh, somebody was serving you and he died and he became a vyantar dev okay and then he may have a buddhi to come and do something good for you so he may come and help you in some way. if your punya uday is there or supposing he is not happy with you your uh, past karmic connection with that person so he may go there and he may come down and try to harm you but your harm is happening to you because of your pap ka uday that person is only a nimit okay so very nicely he analyzes all these you read those statements and then um, some people come and do some chamatkar you know they say oh we built a beautiful temple aur yahan pe ami jhara tha devta aaye the to understand what i'm trying to say ami is all that uh, kya bole saffron chandan ki barsat hui yes ho sakta hai ek to chemical composition se bhi ho sakta hai aur ek aakar ke see the devatas know in devalok they want your place they want a human birth they are not happy there they want to do ahinsa sayam tap swadhyay sadhana like the way you are doing but they cannot do they want to follow brahmacharya they cannot follow they want to do tap they cannot do they want to do daan they cannot do there's nothing that they can do other than enjoyment and playing pranks pranks will be played by the devatas of a lower level not of the higher level higher level are indra and all that sarvarth siddha dev and all they won't come down at all for these purposes but these bhatki hui atmas no they will uh, do that is why they say that you should not read the shastra and stotra when you are in your periods and all these things so these negative energies can uh, teach you a lesson if you take to this uh, pure kind of reading in your impure days you understand what i'm trying to say you know so that is why you know all these uh, kya bole um, uh, the shwetambar uh, sadhus and sadhvis they want go out after it is sunset or even if they go they'll cover their head and they go otherwise some evil forces wandering up can punish them for breaking the uh, law hmm? so all those kind of things they believe now uh then no they say that uh, uh jain people also can become vyantar dev or jain can become vyantar dev in the same way these so why do you call them as su dev or ku dev they cannot be su dev now what is their belief system according to that they will be su or ku but we cannot assess anybody samyakta or mithyatva so don't call them kudev your belief in them is kudev they are neither sudev they are neither kudev so for example take your kul devi aapke family ki koi guardian deity hogi okay kul devi vagra devi devta honge to they are not sudev they are not tirthankar they are not aryan they are not jinas they are not sudev they are dev but why do you call them kudev how do you know that they are having samyakta or mithyatva your belief in them that is called kudev understood dear yes ma'am okay. yes ma'am so now if bhagwan is all compassionate why does he if that devi devta whoever it is he is having love for you why does he put you through the suffering trail so all these are your imaginations so they don't have sarvagyata so they are not gods so why do you call them god what do you understand by the term god itself god is a person god is a personality or god is some bhatki hui atma giving you something so nobody can give you anything other than your punya pap ka uday you assume things that they give they will give they can give that faith is kude now second point they say is uh ki bhakti 
mlecha they are using this word mlecha mlecha means anarya uncivilized brutes so parmeshwar will come and uh, kya bole sab mlechon ko anaryon ko maar denge like uh, geeta mein krishna says no yada yada hi dharmasya klanir bhavati bharata abhyutthanam dharma uh, dharmasya uh, abhyutthanam uh, dharmasya vinashaya cha dushkritam sambhavami yuge yuge i don't know चाबी फेर गिली पट्टी कर चाबी फेर गिली पट्टी कर तुरंत पानी से स्प्लैश कर पानी से स्प्लैश करो ठंडा पानी से हाँ तो डू दैट थेरेपी पूरा गर्मी निकल रही है सॉरी माय डॉटर हैविंग अ वेरी स्वोलन आई हाँ सो ठीक है वो व्हाट वाज आई सेइंग कुछ कह रही थी मैं गुड थिंग्स इन लाइफ इन सोसाइटी एंड ही विल फिनिश ऑल द क्या बोले ऑल द ईवल डू इन एंड ऑल दोज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स देन हियर दे आर टेलिंग दैट इफ यूर पुण्य उदय इज देर ऑल दीज गुड थिंग्स विल हैपन इफ यूर पाप उदय इज देर दीज मिलेच अनार्य विल बी देर फॉर एग्जाम्पल the tirthankar bhagwan never did anything to finish the anarya they only concentrated on their sadhana the anarya came and disturbed them in their sadhana but they never got disturbed they kept on evolving on the spiritual path and they reached the highest level so in any society at any given time there will be the evil doers aap kis kis ko dur karoge there are 100000 evil doers in the society can you get rid of the society of all the evil doers no you cannot so you concentrate on the evil within at the same time if there is any evil outside also you fight it you should be empowered to fight the inner enemies also and the external enemies also in the name of ahimsa i'll fight only the inner enemies the external enemies if they are robbing me looting me let them do what they want to do we are not that yet tirthankar sant mahatma types we are all ordinary grahas so we have to balance all these and we have to empower our societies our people to fight the enemies within and to fight the forces outside also so if you feel you are a sadhak you are a muni then you have to not take to self defense also but you are a householder so you have to be empowered in self defense also okay so here they are now coming back to this text he says that uh, if god is all compassionate then why does he allow his people to suffer okay then then he says that if some vyantar is there he wants to show himself to the world he will come and occupy somebody's uh, body and he will tell people to do something etc etc so all these can be can happen no issues about it so just as a child will cry and scream and shout and then he will laugh like that these uh, devtas also can be doing but you don't have to fear them you can tell them jai jinendra like how you greet other human beings you can greet them also but don't worship them with deva buddhi and guru buddhi out of fear don't need you need not fear them you understand what i'm trying to say dear am i able to yes, make you see things okay yes sir then he says that uh, there are uh, these mantras are very powerful these mantras are very powerful and this we you will study in one lesson called chitthi uh, we are i'm not going to teach you but there is one lesson called chitthi uh, in which dharsen acharya had written a letter and that is how chhand agam was compiled by pushpadant and bhutabali so dharsen acharya tested pushpadant and bhutabali by giving them two mantras which were distorted in one mantra there was one extra syllable in another mantra there was one less syllable he gave the mantras to these two people and told them 
इसकी साधना करो एंड वेन दे डिड द साधना ऑफ दीज टू मंत्रास द देवीज द विद्या देवीज अपियर एंड वन हैड अ लॉन्ग टूथ एंड वन हैड अन आई लेस बिकॉज ऑफ द इम्पेड स्लो वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड वन okay so what was i saying uh, my daughter is in pain so she wants me but i said it's okay um, uh, you talking about the mantras ha huh. so mantra so when pushpadant and bhutaballi they did they understood that in this mantra one syllable is more because of that that devi has come with one extra part of the body the tooth long tooth the other one the mantra the syllable is less so the devi is distorted with one eye so they corrected the mantras and the vidya devi is appeared in the perfect form so what i am trying to say is that for every mantra there are thousands of adhishtayak devis and devatas ha huh? these devis and devatas they have no they cannot do sadhana they cannot do meditation they cannot do swadhyay they cannot do tap so they serve the people who take to all this because they themselves want all these and go to the level of vitrakta but for them the channel is closed so they serve these mantras and people who worship all great things right you understand what i'm trying to say they will come and rejoice and celebrate when you devote yourself to the higher truths of life they will participate in your celebrations okay so uh, these uh, mantras and all are there but then you getting the fruit of the mantra shakti and devata ka company is all because of nimit nimitik samman your punya uday is there they will come your pap uday is there they will harm but for that out of fear don't start worshiping them or start praising them or uh, uh, surrender to them you understood all of you understood dear so ma'am yes, praying sir. to them would be also considered as mithyatva is it what praying to them also would yes, be considered yes, as mithyatva yes yes how you have your other family members like that you can greet them they are also atma they are also gyan swabhavi atma but they don't know that happiness is in gyan swabhav so they are also searching outside and doing all these uh, mischief for that why do you have to get scared or why do you have to worship them what are you going to get out of that only uh, pandit ji says you are going to get tremendous mithyatva and land in nikot grahit mithyatva you will get and you will land in nikot bada bhari nuksan hoga he tells at the end so he says that uh, when you when you when you murder when you take to the seven vyasan huh, alcohol or addictions or anything else or murder or anything one two three lives will be wasted but when you take to worshiping of these devi devtas you will get bada bhari paap called mithyatva which will take you back to nikot hinsa jhoot chori will not take you to nikot but this false faith and faith in false uh, gods gurus and dharma will take us to nikot understood so bada bhari thank you ha so then he says that vyantar no they have avdhi gyan vyantar jeev and all no so they may end up meeting somebody doing something and all those things so they may give answers but they may not give you the right answers because they are not gyani they are not if they are samyak drishti why they will land in vyantar paryay they are not having the higher knowledge so they have landed in a lower paryay they are alpagyani so why do you have to fear them why do you have to praise them 
you are doing it out of your fear psychosis so that because of that fear and wrong calculation you will land in ego please don't do it that's what pandit ji is telling in this portion okay so now these vyantar dev they have this vakriya shakti they have this vakriya shakti they can make forms and all these kind of things they can do and they can fool people you know so you don't have to be fooled by them you have to be alert and aware okay according to pa then he says uh, people uh, what what to say uh, people worship kya uh, bole animals birds insects you have you know even in japan you have rabbit ear this ear that ear dragon ear all kinds of things you know people keep doing and then um, uh, they they offer all kinds of foods and sweets and things to the uh, at their altar and all these kind of things then he says ki uh, uh, these vyantar devs also will remember the past lives and they can come and get connected to people and all that ha huh. so you don't have to worry about it then uh, he talks about the jyotish dev how they worship the sun and all then he says why do you have to worship the sun and i'll tell you my experience that vitamin d is very important for your body the milk that you take in is calcium and that calcium will not be retained in your body if vitamin d is not there being a naturopath i'm telling you that so vitamin d is very important for the body and uh, we living near the equator we get plenty of sunshine and there are a lot of europeans who and americans who come to india go to the beaches take a sun bath it's basically they are taking their vitamin d uh, uh, kya bole the sunshine vitamin with them so that sunshine is very important for your life okay but uh, if you tell people very religiously to take the vitamin d people will not take so they said early morning you get up and do tarpan to the sun god so they'll take that little water and they'll put it before the sun god and they'll worship the sun god. so as they do this they get the vitamin d so you understand how they have intertwined health and the rituals yes ma'am huh? so then now you want sunshine vitamin you take it but why do you have to worship the sun god or oh, you want to worship the sun god then what is one element more in that sun and that is light heat and light so you understand the light within which is uh, which is more powerful than thousands of suns put together that is what is told in your logos ka part ai chesu ayam payasayara chandesu nimmalayara tirthankar bhagwan aur atma is चंद्र में चंद्रमा से भी ज्यादा निर्मल है आईचेसु अहियम पयासर अहियम मतलब अधिकम पयासरा है ना प्रकाश करने वाले आईचेसु मतलब सूर्य थाउजेंड्स ऑफ सूर्य कैन नॉट मैच द ब्रिलियंस ऑफ द आत्मा बिकॉज द सन्स लाइट कैन नॉट रिमूव द डार्कनेस दैट इज देयर इन माई माइंड इट कैन नॉट रिमूव द डार्कनेस दैट इज देयर इन अ केव the sun is also covered by the clouds the sun sets in the evening there are so many flaws in that sun but no such flaws are there in my atma no karma can cover me i am only not understanding my atma that is the covering for myself the the gyan swabhav can never set it is always it is always rising so like that you have to understand and that is why in our tradition we don't have all these pseudo practices of worshiping the sun doing yagya doing tarpan doing this doing ganga snan etc etc you understand what i'm trying to say so this is basically a dialogue between the shramanic culture and the vedic culture how much of vedic culture has come into our homes you go to any jain home you will see the image of ganesh ji lakshmi ji saraswati and all this devi devta hmm uh, i'll tell you in kakattur in andhra pradesh telangana there was a very beautiful shwetambar jain temple 
and uh, recently they built a ashtalakshmi jain temple below the tirthankar temple ashtalakshmi gajalakshmi ye lakshmi wo lakshmi putra lakshmi dhana lakshmi i can give you the philosophical spiritual interpretation of the ashtalakshmi and we have created the shlokas for that very beautiful interpretation kabhi pooch lena aage bata do abhi nahi okay so we just have 10 minutes left and then they, he talks about people worshiping kshetrapal people worshiping kshetrapal padmavati uh, you know kshetrapal are the guardian deities of our tirtha kshetras see i'll tell you one thing uh, i my mother's uh, hometown is nagor Rajasthan. So there was a very beautiful mirror Kachka Mandir. So that Kachke Mandir ke bahar huge, huge statues of two soldiers would be there with big, big mustache and all this. So they were put up to scare the invaders. you understand to scare the invaders right so kshetrapal are the guardian deities of a place but what is the need to worship them tell them jai jinendra no problem tell them jai jinendra no problem why do you have to be scared of them then why do you have to say namo jinanam jiya bhayanam if you want to be scared jiya bhayanam means i have conquered all the fear namo jinana means i realize the jina in me how the jinas have become fearless i also experience fearlessness then don't talk about that time if you really want to keep nurturing fear for all these things how are you going to conquer the fear and if you don't conquer fear you are not eligible for ratnatray you have to be free of the seven types of fear ye lok bhay par lok bhay itna bhay paloge to chutoge kaise like that okay so if they are samyak drishti you need not fear them and if they are mithya drishti why do you have to fear them you understood so all these kshetrapal devi devta and all that so then people worship animals and beasts and all these kind of things basically you have to conserve them and not worship them people worship them and eat them people worship them and eat them they worship the ganges and they go and pollute the ganges they worship the trees and they cut down the trees they worship the animals and they kill all the animals so we neither worship them we neither try to kill them or abuse them so we are only seeing so what i'm trying to say is jainism is total animism animism means seeing the spiritual element in all of the creatures okay hmm then so we worship these gods and goddesses thinking ye hamara ishta kar, kar denge hamara anishta nahi karenge that ishta anishta buddhi they will do good for me they may not do wrong for me so that buddhi no is mithya okay so if you are taking to them you are binding evil you are binding pap you are binding mithyatva so your moksha marga will become durlab for you that that is what you are going to give to yourself so he says three ways one you have mithya bhav because you don't know the reality tatva shraddha nahi hai then he says par dravya mein ishta anishta buddhi you don't have know the reality you believe that par dravya is ishta anishta like that he gives three reasons okay uh, brahma buddhi you have got this brahma buddhi second is not having faith in the tatvas and raga dvesha tivrata why people take to worshiping these pseudo gods 
and elements is because of illusion, delusion, mithyatva. Second is not knowing reality, tattva shraddha. And third is raga dvesha ki ati tivrata. Intense attachment, aversion, kashai makes you take up to these kudev and then your moksha marg will become durla. This is it about today's day. So I finished up to 175 page. Next class, I request you to read about the Ku Gurus and come. It's a little long uh, discussion. So a lot of quotations are given from Upadesha, Siddhanta, Ratnamala and uh, so many texts, you know. So I request you to read the Ku Guru part and come in the next class. Okay? More dangerous than the Dev are the Gurus. Inke Changul se bachna baut mushkil. Okay, up to one. Ma'am, I have a question. Ah, Sorry. Class is over. Those who want to go can go. We can do the Jinwani Stuti next. Ma'am, ask you, sir. Ma'am. So my question, ma'am, is that we have um, understood the directives towards understanding a Kudev. Uh, but if somebody goes to, say, a Jain temple with the intention of uh, offering something for uh, say, uh, gain for this life or uh, for social gain, would that also be considered as Mithyatva or a Kudev in that case? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, I'll, I, I uh, thank you for this question. Uh, I remember Panditji telling us once that uh, Kya bole? Uh, a pativrata stri, a chaste lady, will not go behind other men. But she will not ill-treat her own husband also. She'll give him the due respect. Okay. So here in this case, the chaste lady is our Atma. It doesn't go behind other gods and goddesses. But apne paramatma ko bhi wrong way mein nahi bolegi ki you do this for me, you do that for me. Understood? Right. Right. No. Yeah. So, uh, you. telling our Bhagwan, ki you cleanse all my pap, you give me moksh, where you are residing, you give me a place over there. All these kind of prayers will not come for a Samyak Right. Because hmm. there was an example where um, uh, one person explained to me that what we are offering to the to the deity or to the Tirthankar is with the intention that we he will help us to give away give away or give up that um, that product or that or item of offering. Pujan hmm. See, actually the Pujan mein jo ye eight Ashta Prakari Puja karte hai na. Yeah, See, yeah. These fruits and these sweets and this chandan and water, etc., they can satisfy me materially. But they have no role in my spiritual uh, satisfaction. So I give up the attachment for them. And I seek the most invaluable thing. And that is right understanding, right faith, right. Right. So offering them is not for Paramatma. Offering hmm. is giving up the attachment or the uh, uh, support that uh, you feel that you get from them. Right. That is what. Yeah, that is what we studied in the first year. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we are not supposed to offer anything to God. Hmm. Other than, see, God does not want your devotion also. Right. He wants you to be devoted to whom they are devoted. They are devoted to their pure soul. They want you to yeah. be devoted to your pure soul. That's all. They yeah. don't want anything. See, you worshipping Bhagwan or not is not going to help them in any way in their happiness of moksha. Got it, dear? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Anything else? Anybody I remember, else? I got a couple of questions actually, but one got relieved in the session itself. Ah. Can you hear me, ma'am? Huh. Right. The first one is like out of the eight yantra day, you said like one of them is creator. Rest of all is like give. Hey, Padmapriya, like, your voice is very less. I cannot hear anything. Lot of strain for me. Okay, ma'am. 
can you hear me ma'am now no a little louder please just a minute ma'am can you hear me now ha ah, bolo ha ah. uh, how to the eight types of bhyan uh, pradesh one is bhuta preta right bhuta we can understand that there's a soul there preta is like just a body just it's a dead body isn't it ma'am how can no no no, uh, no. prayat atma is a different category of yantar de evil spirits spirits is prayat who oh. is also spirit only in different forms they will come you know bhut may have a very scary face prayat may be a little milder form of that bhut oh right yep, they have even more big features mm. all these you know you have to read the uh, description of it in the tatvar sutra commentaries right okay or uh, read uh, jenendra siddhant kosh tilloya pannati okay yeah hmm. uh, second question is like i will uh, give you an example for this like when you say tribal people huh uh, there are different tribes but each tribe may have their own distinct features yes like that hmm second question i got really that actually when you said like uh, when the people when the person said like uh, they have um, what to say like they got another spirit in them you ask these questions i got mm. a doubt most of them most of the um, spirits are mitya dev how do they know like what are dana yoga and things like that but uh, we got a book called nila kesi in summer where in the mm. munichandra ask all the questions to the nila kesi who is a ghost and then nila kesi try to answer some of them and then he ask all the questions and then uh, finally the munichandra win over nila kesi and nila kesi converted to janikam and went to uh, other parts of the um, nation and then she she thought with uh, it's a, basically a dark book uh, dark book like um, she goes and and you know ma'am you might be knowing this i don't need to tell you so um so that question got relieved uh, automatically when you said like you asked this question i i had a doubt but it got relieved this there's already a text exists in uh, okay. tamil it okay. talks about that and the third okay. one is like shetra palaka you said about shetra palaka it's in vidna like when we go yeah. to the temple we worship the shetra palaka like this darshan uh, you know uh, what to say like um make this darshan uh, this jina darshan possible to me and uh, that should lead to nija darshan as you used to say we used to pray so are they going to relieve you are they going to relieve you of your nithyatva no um, they are not going to relieve any any of them why are you telling them to relieve it's not uh, can, telling can, them to relieve. okay leave the kshetrapal can even tirthankar bhagwan relieve you of your nithyatva or you have to get it relieved with uh, their uh, support no ma'am it's like you know when i'm climbing the temple you know uh, in sundarangonda there is a chetra balaka in front of the temple when i'm climbing i go to chetra balaka and uh, make this climb is easy yeah? there no there, there should not be any trouble or any problem visiting the temple that's what we uh, pray to chetra balaka isn't it ma'am hmm hmm Is it, is that yeah. case, so that case, in that case, you should worship the policeman in your town and pray to yeah. him. Please see that there is no wrong things in the society. Do you pray the pray to the policeman? No, no. Do you pray to the police commissioner? No. In that case, you yeah. should do that. No. Mm, yeah. They are That's they are going to safeguard the law and order in your society. go and worship them worshiping them or abiding by the law yourself and empowering people educating people to abide by the law is more important hmm. understand it's a logic yes ma'am you Thank want you. to worship the kshetrapal you tell him jay jinendra may you be liberated let hmm. me also walk on the path of liberation that's all you don't need to ask them anything else Mm. you protect this you protect that okay how many of our temples have been protected 
all are in mm. ruins no yes ma'am and what you get in return only mithyatva load of mithyatva and land in nigoth hmm yes ma'am see what i'm teaching you is pure jainism and we mm. have this popular jainism outside okay. so you have to differentiate how much of uh, wrong uh, popular jainism is in our minds and keep correcting it you can't correct the society don't try to correct your people mm. correct yes, yourself ma'am. correct your understanding and faith system that's all no only right. when you worship them they will protect no it's just all like a ritual actually yeah so all your, your these false right, rituals ma'am. come no. under ku dharma all these false mm. rituals will come under ku dharma so ku dev ku guru ku dharm is there means samyak darshan gyan charitra su dev su guru su dharm will not come in life hmm will not come hmm. in life so if it doesn't come then you are not on the path of moksha simple okay. jainism is blunt and simple black and white all these are all the colors and we are caught in this inculturation things all these are there in our systems because of the impact of the vedic culture okay dear got it yes, ma'am thank you thank, thank you. you ma'am got it ma'am oh you go fold your hands to the vyantar dev or the kshetrapal in the temple but don't tell him to do this do that and nurture your anxiety and greed and fear and all that put a break on that tell him jai jinendra may you be liberated may i be liberated Yes, Why do you tell him protect this? That not required at all. Be fearless. Mm. Learn to be fearless, like Pandit Ji. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Pandit Ji trashed everything with the with the what to say, like with the you know whatever our beliefs are there. He he doesn't care about anything. He's just the pure soul. That's the thing he has. First of all, he just trashed. That's why we told you right yes. myth busters. We should have. We should have a great, great. Uh, what to say? Courage to do that, isn't it? That's why he was killed. People could not digest what he was telling. The pure Jainism that the Tirthankars revealed two thousand five hundred years ago was slowly getting distorted over time. He tried to reinforce it, and he was killed for that. Deep, no takers for that. and today the situation is more bad it is worse than it used to be during his time people are converting to islam and christianity like mad yeah okay dear friends i would like to stop thank you ma'am thank you very much ma'am vaani bharati to hai japo din re जो तेरी शरणा गहे सो पावे सुख चैन जा वाणी के ज्ञान में सूझे लो कालो सो वाणी मस्तक नमो सदा देत जय जिनेन्द्र थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स जय जिनेन्द्र मैम थैंक यू